welcome to uh, welcome to this live stream ladies and gentlemen uh, it's another edition of Zach's job and here we are today I'm not going to be so rough on people I want to just talk about a few things that uh, affect us as individuals and as particular as personalities and so today uh, my focus is going to be on uh, the perfectionists I want to talk about perfectionist and I just need to tell them to be easy on themselves just be easy on yourself okay uh, sometimes a perfectionist without end uh, they want to do everything to the best level of themselves and in the moment of time maybe a number of after several years or after several days you discover that they fall sick or maybe they suffer burnout or or a number of things so how best therefore do we uh, 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 just handle ourselves so that we don't suffer burnout because at the end of the day you'll discover that you're so tired you'll you'll get sick okay and you may be bedridden and you also discover that when you're tired or when you're sick your work uh, will be done by somebody else actually even forgetting that you existed so my aim today is to help us or to help the perfectionists just to get the very best of themselves so if you don't want to suffer burnout i'll give you about 12 things that you need to do uh, in what I've titled today as uh, be easy on yourself be easy on yourself don't die uh, struggling to finish up that job so the first thing I want to tell you is uh, before you do anything breathe fast yeah just take a breath like yeah breathe fast okay before you do anything that is important to you take a few seconds to breathe those few seconds will help you. It will. Ha it has always helped me to approach every task with a calm state and focus, okay, rather than with anxiety. So it will also enable you to remember why you are doing that which you are doing. Number two is uh, understand to take one single task at a time. Yeah, you know, it seems like multitasking is a myth, and by the way, multitasking is a myth anyway because... You'll be switching your attention from something else to another one, from one task to another task. You'll be trying to do so many things at the same time, and you'll discover that at the end of the day, you're not very, very productive. So learn to put your attention on one thing. Just do one single task. It makes us to have more intentional focus on that which you're doing. It also helps our brain to recharge because will be so easier uh, handling a single task rather than taking so many tasks at the same time. Uh, number three, I would also talk about uh, take a tech break. Just break up from technology. I know uh, I'm one person who could can be so addicted uh, to, to, to social media, uh, okay? But I want to say that just take a tech break, okay? It feels good to be connected. It makes us feel important. It makes us feel like we are part of things. However, it's consuming. It can be so consuming, sorting out things, absorbing, filtering, labeling, all the information that is online. It can be so exhausting. So you'll find yourself that that is too much to take. So while many of us interact technologically for work, uh, we don't have to be there all the time. Just take a break from the tech and have a me time, okay? Have a, a time to detox digitally because at the end of the day, it will be crucial for your health. The fourth thing that I also want to just bring to your attention is remember that it is today and nothing is urgent. Yeah, nothing is urgent. Give yourself an easy day. We are, we are, nothing, sh we are nothing short of a true emergency is urgent. Actually, I always say that if it is a, it's urgent, please just call. Uh, just call 411. Call an emergency number. So there's nothing urgent, okay? Then drop the word should, you know? Should is a word that drives us to perfection, but it will drive us and drive us to a point of delirium, a point of breaking up. <coughs> Sorry. Because nothing is ever enough. 
take should out of your vocabulary. Replace it with could. I could get it. I could do it. <coughs> Sorry. I could get it. I could do it. Okay. So, or I get to do it. So, don't say I should do it. Okay. Sorry for that. Yeah. So, avoid it because should will make you have a stressful moment. Thinking that you must do such a thing. You'll be able to choose when to push yourself and how to be healthy about it without compulsively uh, running from here and here to there. So replace the word should from your vocabulary. Then treat yourself the way you treat others. That's key. You're told love, 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 love other people as you love yourself. And also tell you that treat yourself as you're going to treat others, okay? If you find yourself pushing all the time, stop and ask if that is how you treat your mom or your favorite sibling or your spouse or your best friend. So if you can't push them, then you don't have to push yourself uh, that much. Let's go when you'd let them to rest. So if you find that you need time to give other people time to rest, please remember it's also key that you give yourself time to rest. Then uh, take a break every 90 minutes. Yeah, even when you're working hard, you are in the zone. The work is important, yes. You need to get it done, correct. Stop that work after every 90 minutes. Take a short break. Walk outside. Go outside. Stretch a little, okay? That, that coincides with our body natural rhythm. It's been proven that we can be active for at least one and a half hours. So after every one and a half hours, please just take a break. Then practice self-compassion. While we may strive for perfection, the truth is that we are not perfect and we live in an imperfect world. We can't be perfect. We live in an imperfect world and please uh, just strive to be perfect. Just strive to be perfect. Uh, again, uh, don't, don't strive to be, per be perfect at all times. That's what I'm saying. It's a fact that we need to give ourselves compassion. When you make mistakes, we don't meet our own standards just be compassionate on yourself, okay? If you find that you're berating yourself, take a deep breath and cons consciously offer yourself a compassion instead of something like, just say, I'm human, I'm not going to be perfect. And that's okay. That will change your life. Uh, number nine is, uh, you, sometimes you will need to hire a housekeeper. Most people have a high status and include their home in, in that. And then beat themselves up when other projects make it hard to clean. You know, it may get to a point whereby you find your house is messy. Like for us men, you know, the cars are always very orderly, but sometimes you find that that sink has not been done for the last maybe seven days. And you, if you happen to go through your kitchen to the living room, you find that there's a stench. Hire a housekeeper. Yeah, just get somebody to, to do it for you. Yeah. yeah. Or as, as you do your job. Then the ne the ne the tenth thing and should be take yourself out. Yep. Take yourself out. Give yourself an alone time away from work and home and to any place that makes you feel like you need to do more. Get yourself out of a place that will make you feel guilty that you need to do more, do this and this. Just take yourself out, get a environment, take a walk around, walk around, walk around some nature outside the workplace. It will make you relax. Then decide what is important to you. We all have tasks that we need to accomplish. We have reasons that we need to do some particular things. But again, it's good that you just take a break, take just to uh, consider that task. Many of us, though, take on things that are not ours. You find that the most of the times, this perfectionist, you'll be jumping from one work to one task to another because you find that maybe the other person is not going to to do it. And sometimes you find you burning out of the same. Please just take a breath, take, decide on what's important for you. The last thing on this list, which is also not the least, is let it go. When you find yourself stressing over trying to do well with a job that isn't yours, please let it go. I found it helpful to actually clench my hands then and crack them sometimes under the table and behind my back so that no one could see. So let go of that stressful thing. Just take a break, let it go and focus on something else. So that has been my job today. On the aspect of just be easy on yourself and be the best, the very best of you. Remember, you are highly replaceable in that position that you are in. Your family is equally important. When all is said and done, we'll all run back to our families. So thank you so much for listening to this. It's Zach's job. Remember to subscribe on my YouTube channel, Inspired Zach. 
it's all there i keep uh, posting such nuggets periodically thank you so much and god bless you see you next and that has been my job